Hello, I'm Olga Rudanko. I'm Ukrainian, and I'm the editor-in-chief of the Kyiv Independent. I'd like to thank the European Movement International and European Women's Lobby for choosing me for this award. I'd like to think that I'm accepting this award, not just as an individual, but on behalf of all the brave women who are part of the Kyiv Independent, and in fact, on behalf of all Ukrainian women. They have been through so much this year. They truly are remarkable women in action. One year ago, we started the Kyiv Independent because we were a group of Ukrainian journalists, very young ones, who had a big dream. We wanted to be the trustworthy, independent voice of Ukraine. And we became it at the time when it was most needed. And I'm very grateful to everyone whose support got us here. I'm recording this video from our office in Kyiv, the capital of Ukraine, where we have not had electricity for most of the day. It had been turned on a couple of hours ago, and it's about to go out any minute now. Surviving on several hours of electricity a day is just one of many challenges that all Ukrainians are going through right now. Just yesterday, our team had to take shelter in the nearby metro station for several hours while Russia was conducting a yet another mass missile attack on Ukraine. And while being in the metro, we had to continue working. We were there with our laptops, keeping on reporting and keeping on telling the world what was happening on the ground in Ukraine. And I'm telling you all this now, not because I want you to feel bad for us, but because I want to take this opportunity to remind you that the war continues and that it's really hard on everybody in Ukraine every day. We don't know how many Ukrainians, military and civilians have been killed already, but we're talking about many, many thousands. And the only reason why I can be here in Kyiv, alive, addressing you, is because of the ultimate sacrifice made by many Ukrainian soldiers who died defending their country from a much bigger enemy. Today, Ukrainians, men and women, need your support. After all, this is not a war between two countries, not really. It's a war between two polar sets of values. We in Ukraine are not just defending our people and our land. We are defending the European values that we share with you. We are defending the idea that Europe stands for. And in doing so, we need your support. We need it to grow and to continue. And please, keep talking about Ukraine, keep thinking about Ukraine, keep helping Ukraine, and keep standing with Ukraine. I would like to once again thank you for this award, and I like to think that I'm accepting it as a yet another assurance that Europe stands with Ukraine in our fight for our shared values. Slava Ukraini!